Welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> the purpose of this uh, short presentation is to highlight uh, the differences between uh, stalling and flashing the pipeline. Uh, if you remember, in uh, previous videos, we talked um, about this uh, special load use data hazard uh, that required us to um, introduce a stall, uh, basically uh, bubbles that are the equivalent of uh, ex executing a no operation type of an instruction. Uh, to cope with um, this situation where forwarding um, was, was not working. Um, <clears throat> so into, into introducing this um, um, stall uh, could be done by uh, forcing control values in the instruction decode slash execute register to um, zero, uh, which will then be uh, propagated through the pipeline stages of uh, execute memory and write back. Uh, that uh, having this uh, control values uh, zero will translate into those pipeline stages being uh, a no op uh, type of an operation. And um, in addition to that, uh, we need to prevent to update the program counter because we um, uh, essentially want to fetch uh, the instruction um, um, again and. Uh, also to prevent the instruction fetch instruction decode register to be uh, updated and in this way uh, the using uh, instruction that participates in this uh, type of a data hazard would be decoded again um, and um, as a result we'd have a uh, one sec of stall uh, that allows for the memory to uh, a stage of, of the pipeline to read the data uh, for, for the load instruction and that could uh, then subsequently forward to the execution uh, stage. Now, the other type of uh, hazard that we talked about uh, is the branch or control hazard that happens in cases where we have uh, control instructions, like for example, this branch or nickel type of instruction, uh, whose outcome about branching uh, to some, some address uh, to this instruction were uh, continuing uh, is not known until later on uh, during the execution of, of, of this control instruction and um, because uh, normally we operate in this pipeline by, by fetching and, and pushing into the pipeline instructions one after uh, another if uh, when when this branch on equal instruction later on finds out that we should have branched um, we realize that uh, all of these instructions that were fetched and pushed into the pipeline uh, was, was, was incorrect and, and we had to flush them essentially discard uh, everything that has been than about those um, uh, instructions. So uh, how flashing is implemented? Uh, we introduce a new control signal, uh, I have that flash to reset the instruction uh, fetch slash uh, instruction decode register and we uh, zero uh, or uh, reset all the control lines. This is similar to, to stall except that in this case there is no need to disable the program counter uh, um, in, in order to, to fetch the, the same instruction, uh, we don't need to disable the instruction uh, fetch slash instruction decode uh, register either in order to, to be decoding the same instruction uh, like we did during the stall and introduce a bubble in that way. Instead, uh, in, in this case, we only need to update the program counter uh, with the address of the instruction where we actually need to branch. Otherwise, no memory or register writes will have uh, happened, so everything else is um, okay. Um, so, uh, implementing and adding support for uh, detecting the situations when we have a load use type of a data hazard and a uh, control uh, type of a hazard is done by uh, introducing this new uh, element or component into our uh, uh, processor architecture that we uh, developed so far called uh, the hazard detection unit that is responsible with uh, detecting all the conditions that, that uh, um, require uh, the introduction of a uh, stall or the introduction of a uh, uh, flush. When we need to introduce a stall that uh, has a detection unit would disable the program counter and the instruction fetch slash instruction decode uh, register and would set um, the control signals to uh, zeros when there is a need uh, or a situation of, of um, a uh, uh, hazard um, uh, because of a control uh, type of a uh, or branch type of a uh, 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 situation, uh, the hazard detection unit would need to, to flush 
uh, to this uh, new control signal the IF slash ID uh, register. Uh, set again the control signals to zero and uh, control this uh, multiplexer so that the program counter is updated with the uh, address uh, to which we need to, uh, to, to jump uh, and, and fetch instructions from that uh, branching um, address. So in summary, if uh, uh, one will ask to uh, uh, enumerate or describe the similarities and differences between stall and, and uh, flush, uh, in terms of similarities, we'd have to say that both actions of stalling and flushing introduce uh, cycle delays. And therefore, uh, that will uh, translate into an increase of the total execution time of our program. Uh, so these situations are undesirable. Um, the actions of stalling and flushing the, the pipeline are implemented by uh, the new component and uh, our processor architecture that is uh, the hazard detection unit. In terms of uh, differences, uh, they boil down to how exactly they are implemented. Uh, stalling um, is achieved by forcing control values in uh, ID slash EX register to zero and uh, by preventing the update of the program counter and the instruction fetch slash instruction code register. Flushing, we introduce a new control line and uh, set it to zero to flush uh, the IF slash ID register. We uh, also zero all the control lines and uh, set the program counter with the address where we need to, to branch through, through that multiplexer that we have just in front of the program counter. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, bye for now, or au revoir, or as uh, French, uh, the French would say.